It's for Thurston. I'm gonna let him play a little bit of rhythm because this is the baddest rhythm oh. playing mofo ever. So we're gonna solo, but just bring us in, Maestro. Let's okay. hear it. <clears throat> for it boys and girls ladies and gentlemen and it's your birthday birthday today it's his birthday, birthday. 29 today and before you guys <laughs> say anything it's it's open here so we're, we're all good it's it's, right. all, it's nice to have you mm -hmm. back you're the first guest since the incident oh wow this is <laughs> wow that's crazy oh well, you bring back some of the best come on it's amazing it's your birthday i mean it is my birthday okay. feeling very good about we it. doing food after this Yes. Indian something? Indian food. <laughs> I'm having Indian food on Cinco de Mayo. I got him. I got him. He's, he's like, I'm not drinking. I'm like, what about a coffee? And he doesn't <laughs> usually drink coffee. He's like, okay, I'm breaking I it did, down. and I feel my body temperature rising. <laughs> I did. Okay, so. Uh, I'm slow down for the people out there today. You totally uh, confused me with rhythm. He, he's one of the freaking baddest rhythm mofos on the planet. So he threw this, he's like, we're just gonna do a simple little ditty. And then just was like, dude, I can't do that. I, it's, so. It's, it's like Earth, Wind and Fire meets Stevie Ray Vaughan, The Wall of Denial, um, listening to like old Motown records and stuff like that. And that's, or as we, a lot of us grew up watching David Letterman, you heard it every night of your life. That whole triple eighty kind of. Band so good. Welcome to the audience, yeah. David Letterman, you know? And uh, ironically enough, the guitar player Sid McGinnis is from Pittsburgh, is where I'm from. What's up with Pittsburgh? Oh, you can't. I don't know. Just nothing to do but, you know, drink Cold beer, play <laughs> hockey, and play guitar. <laughs> right? So check. I'm going to leave Ford's links right. down below. He's, he's uh, always got something going on. So, yeah. And you're shooting more stuff. By I the shoot, way, yes. he's got some really killer uh, videos that he's put up of his own stuff that he's playing. Yes. It's freaking if you, just, if you just go to uh, my Instagram at Ford Thurston Music, mm -hmm. uh, or if you go to my... Uh, I'll put it down below. On my YouTube, there's videos all over. Ford Thurston Music on YouTube. And I have lessons on there, and um, I started doing that. I'm kind of flaky with that just because I was touring, and then this whole We're thing We're going to fix happened. that. Yes. <laughs> the touring, I, I'm, I got off the road, and uh, I've dedicated my life to a life of not drinking so much and playing guitar. It's mm -hmm. been amazingly rewarding. There's no different either. You're just <laughs> the same. The same person. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, so you got a shout out from the rev, the rev though, yeah. from your videos. It was for the, the Billy Gibbons, a little. Yes. You wanted to see more of the thirst. Yeah, Billy Gibbons totally dig it, but he's such a he's such a sweet guy. It's but he was awesome. like my first idol. But um, no, but as far as the rhythm stuff like that, um, I break love down. That kind let, of let's feel. let's, let's right. do both. But so it's gonna be a solo lesson. Yes. But uh, we're gonna break down this rhythm in another lesson. But just okay. give them the flavor of what it sounds like. So it's kind of a swung ditty.
Okay, so. It's fun, man. It's like a rule like. What'd you call me? <laughs> Slow it down even more. And you're you're not doing one consistent thing, which was the hard part. The jar. Yeah. you. Take it crazy. Once you get it down, you can sort of speed it up and get real crazy with it. It, it is fun, and playing with a band is super cool. It's like a really uh, cool gaggle to pull that out on a gig and have a song like that. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Do you have to play lead swung over that? Uh, you could play straight. Like when I was playing there, I wasn't sure what I was going to do because I was actually thinking more about like where the major third was for the second half of this lesson. Okay, which was so targeting major thirds for the chords. Give us an example. Okay, so Maestro. when that's going on, turn towards the camera a little bit. Sorry. When that's going that's on. I'm thinking over that A, the scale everybody knows, which is the A minor pentatonic. Or the A major pentatonic, which is. Okay? Yeah, so here you go. You can mix that, that scale with. So that's, uh, you're in minor position one and then major position two. Two, exactly. Right. Wait, 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 dude, 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 that coffee's kicking in. Slow down. Okay, so. Now go into the minor, position one. Back to position two. Okay, but you gotta break that way down slow. But you know what's interesting though, you put three note per string runs in there. Is that to help with the timing in this? Yeah, yeah, add in, the, add in the major third. Flat five, do all those notes, I go. You do that really slow, that's cool. What was that? So you you were showing me earlier before we started how you started with on the third. Yeah. So and, and what the, was that cool pattern? The, you the, the right thing there? about the third is is that um, let's just say that if we were playing and which we go to the, the chord changes to the four, which is the D, and to the five chord of this blues, which is the E major chord. Okay. If I am playing A and I go, does that sound cool or does? Obviously, second feels more hum. Now, when we go to this chord, if I go, that doesn't sound right, but if I was to go, that sounds more like hum, right? And then we go to the five chord. See, the note that I'm sliding up to is the major third. So, Brett, so let's just make something simple and let's just target the major third of these three chords. Yeah. Let's do that. I mean, because, you know, I know you teach the Kate system, mm -hmm. which, you know, you're going to be looking at your one, your three, your five. There's a the flat seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, obviously, the flat seven is something you want to know with these chords because that's what makes the blue note is yeah. your flat seven. You know, it's the good. Wait, let me ask you this. In what you're going to teach, there's multiple ways to play the blues. Are you going to follow each chord? Yes. Okay. I'm going to outline the chord with only thinking really of one note, though. Okay. Okay. Now, let's just look at it from a couple different ways. A, okay, your first chord. Okay. Well, right here, that's your major third. Okay, that's an important note because now when you play these thirds, you want to slide from a half step down. And there's your major third again, one octave below it, right? So if we're going. This chord then. See? And then with the A, back to that one. 
Okay, so do the pattern that you're playing over the A. Okay. Real slow. Okay, you you know what? You broke down a really easy pattern before that was more of a shape. Shape, okay, yeah. so we're talking about. Fits over. Now you can mix that with position one of the minor pentatonic scale. And then go. You want to go between those two scales when you're playing over these dominant seven chords. Okay? So I can go. So when it goes to that then, we're gonna think up. I'm gonna play this pattern. Do that one more time. Do it more. What's it look like if you don't skip between strings, like just one set pattern? So you're walking up to the major yes. third and then So chord. I'm picking different yeah. notes out of that scale. So on the slide, that's the major third. Mm -hmm. When you play a major third, start a half step below it and slide up. Never go. See how it doesn't work going down to it. Because then you'd have to go back up. <laughs> that would be really weird, right? So, okay. Now you're going to take this position when you play the five chord and take it up a whole step, right? Same thing. So I slid to that major third again. There's your major third of E. And then it goes back to the four. And then back to the one. Slide into the major third. Major third. Third, 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 third. You can do it this way. You go four chord. Oh, yeah, that's right. You get another cool pattern. That you yeah, so what we're gonna do down. is the Henderson. Okay, just invert this this four chord. Put the bass note at your third. It can be your bass note. The third can be your bass note, folks. So, okay. But what I'm gonna do is, you see, half step below it. So, that's nine, seven, seven. And going up, eleven. 10, 12, 10. And then it goes to E, right? The major third. I'm always looking for the major third. That's your G sharp of that five chord. Back down to D. You can do that in A too, I'd go. Great country pickers. They do that a ton, so that's just. That's all three keys. Now I have, right? real estate that I covered and that's not even combining the minor pentatonic yeah. which I can pretty much do right from the first position the whole time well, over and, all the changes. And you can take that first lower note pattern and put it in the patterns of it, the neck like this. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, right. I can move that all around in octaves yeah. like crazy. You know what uh -huh. I mean? So you could take your simple pentatonic. Take it the same exact string. Five that I showed you this thing that goes up.
berhasil. Second version. I'm just now I'm taking that so now you might take things like this too and different things will be easier for you in different feels like if you played a slow blues and you played that same idea so if you had a uh, ideas and all I was doing outside of it was mixing the minor pentatonic scale in. So position recap, position two. So you start with a third? Yes. We slide it. Slide. I was just sliding it. Yes. Yeah. It just sounds like it doesn't sound like it's coming out of nowhere that way. Yeah. That third, A, that's the third of A, third of D, third of E. There's thirds everywhere. You know what I mean? So if I know where those are at, I have an easier time of uh, being able to like pick a safer note that will then set me up. We're going. We're, we're going to bring him back for another lesson here in a minute. A little bit more rhythm action. Check all of his stuff down below. Lawnmower. Get the freaking man. Yeah, I mean, we got huge lawns and it's raining like <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. every 45 seconds yeah. here. So the grass grows like this big and people are just always mowing. So on that note, let him have it. Yeah. 